If you're looking for a budget long range hunting stock with the emphasis on shootability and ergonomics while being able to accept a little bit more weight, stay tuned while we take a look at the Bell & Carlson Model 700 BDL Long Range Hunter. All right, Ryan with longrangeonly.com here. And in this video, we are going to talk about the Bell & Carlson Model 700 BDL Long Range Hunter. Okay, it, it, this should be fairly short and sweet. They don't have a lot of options. They make it for Model 700 inlets in both short and long actions. And so they're not gonna be options as far as which inlets they inlet for. This has got a Defiance Machine GA Hunter sitting in it. And I did have to open the port for the larger port on the Defiance here. Just took a little Dremel tool and it dropped right in right there. And then on the back side, I had to do a little bit of uh, Dremeling to get the side bolt release to fit in there properly. On a Model 700, it's just gonna drop right in, okay? It comes with two sling studs in the front. It comes with a sling stud in the rear. Again, no options there. I've removed the sling studs and installed a rail. If I were gonna continue to use this, I would put uh, flush cups in the, the front and the back. But sling studs is what it comes with. Inletted for 700 BDL bottom metal, and that covers, I think, the, the bigger specs. I will throw in a screen over here to the side that includes the listed specs off of Bell & Carlson's website. Uh, they offer it in quite a few different color configurations, your, your black, uh, your black with white speckling, your tan with black speckling, your green. I think most of you have seen a Bell & Carlson stock. They've got all those uh, standard configurations in color. They also offer a couple of these uh, camo style. The, in this one, uh, those do, the camos add $40. The base price is $300 for the stock. Uh, so, what do I think about it? I've been shooting this for, I don't know, six or seven months, maybe a little bit longer. I ordered it so that we could do a review for guys that are looking for a little bit cheaper stock. And this is, uh, I, and I ordered it while I waited on a Macmillan stock that I had on order. So I've been shooting it and I, I gotta be honest, I'm, I was pleasantly surprised, actually kind of blown away with the ergonomics of the stock. My finger is right on the trigger when I've got a natural grip here. I don't have to stretch. I don't have to move my hand into weird spots. As soon as you lay down and you're, you get in the prone position with your, your front uh, bipod and your rear rest, your hand just goes right where it's supposed to be. As far as the drop at the heel, drop at the comb, they don't list those specs, that, but they're right in line with most of the, the better stocks. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, more drop at the comb and drop at the heel than like a Manners EH1. It's going to be right in line with most of the McMillans that I've shot with the drop at the comb. And it is a flat comb, so it doesn't have that drop, which I prefer, either a flat comb or a negative comb. So this does really good. Uh, like I said, when you get behind the gun in the prone position with a natural point of aim, your cheeks just got a ever so slight cheek weld, which is what I prefer, so you're not interfering with the gun upon firing, and it does awesome. The drop at the toe is probably in a middle between like your typical uh, Macmillan and your like your EH1 from Manners and those flatter style uh, drop at the toe stocks. There's not a whole whole lot to say about it. Uh, like I said, while I was waiting for my Macmillan, we decided to give this a try, and it performed much greater than I expected. So if you're looking for a long-range hunting stock or even just a long-range uh, shooting stock in a hunting style rifle, you're trying to save some money and you're more concerned about the shootability and less concerned about the weight, 
then you definitely need to check out the Bell & Carlson 700 BDL Long Range Hunter. It's right around, uh, they listed as 2.5 pounds. Like I said earlier, we had the specs over the side. This one weighs at uh, two pounds, 10 ounces. So it is heavier. It's not something that I would want to carry into the back country for sure. But if you're just doing antelope hunting or uh, day hunts uh, for mule deer or elk, it would be great for that as well. If you're mainly just plinking, it's obviously going to be a great option. At $300 for the normal paint, $340 for the uh, camo versions, it's not going to break the bank. So, like I said, if you're looking for a long range hunting stock, the weight's not a huge concern, but you need it to shoot very well. Take a look at the Bell and Carlson 700 BDL Long Range Hunter. We'll have a link below in the description to a thread on longrangeonly.com. You can head on over there. You can ask me any questions, give me feedback on the video. If you're not a member, it's quick, it's free, it's easy to sign up. There's a great group of guys on there, lots of great information on the forum, and we'd love to have you there. Please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications so that you can be informed of future videos. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day.